Hello all. Uh, in this video, I will show how to perform molecular docking using Autodoc tools and Autodoc version 4.2. So let's start. Uh, in order to perform molecular docking, you need Autodoc tools, which will uh, assist you to create input files for Autodoc. And uh, in order to download Autodoc tools, you have to visit uh, a site that is um, autodoc.scripts.azu or edu. So here um, you can go to downloads and you can download Autodoc 4.2. So this will actually uh, so either you can uh, fill uh, out this registration form or proceed to download base. Okay. So for Windows, you have to download this this file. So I have already downloaded this file and when you will execute it, then uh, you will see a folder uh, in program or program x86 directory uh, under C drive and that, that, that uh, folder will be the, the scripts results institute so when you will uh, go to the c drive and either when you will open program files or program files x86 so uh, you will see this folder the scripts research institute and under this you will see this folder and again this is the version this is the version 4.2.6 and there are two executables uh, autodoc 4.2 dot exe and autogrid 4 dot exe so these two executable uh, executables are um, important to perform molecular docking and another um, another th uh, which you have to download is uh, ADT so ADT is autodoc tools so autodoc tools will assist you to create input files for um, molecular docking and also autodoc tools will assist you to vi uh, visualize it will help you in visualizing the results so uh, you can download it from mgltools.scripts.edu and here it is for uh, windows so it can work for 64 bit uh, also so mgl tools win win32 1.5.6 setup.exe you have to download it and uh, simply you have to uh, right click and install it to program files or program x86 uh, pro uh, program uh, directory or program x86 directory so after installation you will see uh, you will see an icon here autodoc so when you will uh, double click on this icon then this uh, graphical user interface of autodoc tools will open so um, for this molecular docking uh, i'm going to uh, actually perform redocking or self docking of an inhibitor of 3cl pro so 3cl pro is a protease uh, of sars coronavirus 2 so um, it's an important enzyme and um, it is considered as drug target so uh, there are, uh, so this inhibitor is actually um, it has been reported in one article that was published in 2020 by um, by a group of chinese authors i think in acta pharmaco pharmacologica sinica so you can see this you can read this article and uh, 
so you can i think most of them are sorry so when you will click author yeah so um, all authors are from chinese institutions and uh, in this article actually uh, authors have reported that uh, the traditional chinese medicine uh, can be used to for the covid-19 treatment and and this they have like uh, they have some active ingredient ingredients in tcm so um, actually they have mentioned two components and uh, and this crystal structure um 6m2n is with one active component that is baclane uh, and uh, it's a small molecule uh, and it binds to 3cl pro non-covalently and here you can see uh, the 3cl protease 3c like protease uh, it has four chains a b c d and uh, in a structure of inhibitor is so it's a small molecule so it has i think it's a flavonoid so flavon so um so what I'm going to do is I will take one chain because it has uh, four chains. So I will take one chain and I will see that whether inhibitor is bound to chain A. So I will consider chain A and um, I will extract that ligand. I will separate the receptor. I will separate the ligand and I will perform um, receptor and ligand preparation. And then I will proceed for generation of uh, input files for molecular docking so uh, let's download this structure so 6m2n either we can uh, use uh, uh, graphical user uh, uh, graphical uh, visualization program so uh, like ucsf chimera to visualize this structure and uh, also the separate the receptor and ligand but here um, I am using only autodoc tools to to separate the receptor and ligand so uh, this autodoc tools is a very um, it's a very nice interface uh, for molecular docking It's a free uh, open source, so so uh, it's a free free software. So here, um, first you will have to click on file and read molecule to load the structure. And here I have downloaded the structure six m two n. six m two n so you can see this um, this all four chains so i'm going to delete d c b so these three chains i'm going to delete and i will keep only chain a so in order to delete these three chains you have to click on edit delete selected atoms continue So this will delete um, all chains except um, chain A and chain A has ligand also and water molecules also. So here you see that the chain A has protein atoms as well as uh, had, uh, water molecules and just above the water molecules you will also see ligand so 3wl401 is ligand so um first i will create one file that is complex.pdb and then i will use that file to create receptor and uh, ligand files so uh, i have to delete waters so if uh, first <clears throat> what happens like you will see many water molecules often you will see uh, that water molecules are present in the binding site and um 
they they can help in the interaction they can be busy water molecules so basically we remove ions we remove water molecules and we keep only uh, like we uh, generally clean the binding site to perform the uh, uh, to perform the docking so uh, but sometimes water molecules they are very important so if you are not able to reproduce the pose if you are not able to uh, get the correct binding pose and if you think that the water molecules play a very important role then you can retain those water molecules but here in this uh, this video i am just going to show uh, how to perform redocking or self uh, docking in that case i'm um, removing ions or water molecules all water molecules so delete waters delete water and uh, it will delete all water molecules now you can save this as save or uh, write pdb browse docking so complex dot pdb okay so now uh, complex dot pdb uh, file has been saved uh, in the folder docking so um, now what we can do is just uh, we can select this ligand so you can see this uh, it has been highlighted now so you can center it from here and we can highlight like we can make it stick representation so you see that it has been highlighted here so this is the ligand and i'm going to delete this so add it delete selected atoms and then you have to save this receptor save write pdb browse go to docking and save this as receptor dot pdb so now uh, receptor dot pdb file has been saved and this file uh, this file has all protein atoms without hydrogens so delete all molecules continue and sometimes you will get this type of error just avoid it then i'm going to again open this uh, complex.pdb and i'm going to uh, separate ligand uh, i'm going to save the ligand so here you see that uh, it's not showing not so don't worry it will appear yeah so uh, here this time i'm going to select whole complex and just i will uh, exclude uh, i will not select ligand so all at protein atoms will will get deleted and then only um, the ligand atoms will be visible so here i have uh, like i have not selected the ligand atoms so uh, you have to go to edit delete delete selected atoms so now you see that uh, this one is ligand so file save write pdb pause okay so uh, receptor.pdb and ligand.pdb these two files are available in docking folder so what next so next what we are going to do is prepare a receptor so prepare receptor means uh, 
we are going to add hydrogens and we are also going to assign partial charges so first read um, receptor dot pdb and you will see uh, that in python cell you will see such error but don't worry um, finally you have to just confirm that your receptor has all atoms and uh, all atoms of receptor should be visible and go to uh, go to add it and uh, click on hydrogens add and you have to add all hydrogens so you will see that all hydrogens have been added and then uh, you have to assign charges so on protein uh, if you will read the autodoc uh, manual then you will see that uh, the coleman charges uh, should be at uh, like uh, all atoms of the protein should have coleman charges so add coleman charges and total coleman charges are added is equal to 4.662 and it's not in diesel so what we do is we spread a uh, check total on residues and um, we see that this uh, six residues have non-integral charge and we have to spread charge deficit over all atoms to make this uh, 4.662 um, uh, nearest to the uh, like it it will make uh, integer so 4.662 is now 5 so basically um, the charge should not be uh, in decimal 4.6 is like decimal number so um, you have to make it is an integer so dismiss non-integral so dismiss so once you have a spread charge deficit over all atoms in the situ then you have uh, to click on dismiss and then uh, you can again check check it charges check total on residue so you will see that no residues with non-integral charges found so file save write pdbq because it has now charge so charge for charge we use q so now this file can be saved as receptor dot p dbq okay so now we have to prepare ligand so um, in case of ligand we have to just add hydrogen atoms using this file read molecule ligand.pdb and add add it hydrogen add all hydrogens so we see that these hydrogens they have been added and we we can confirm uh, that uh, these hydrogens they should be at they should be you know uh, like proper valency and uh, you have to check all those bond orders also so you see that this is the co group here and there are three oh group so you have co group and three oh group so you have to confirm this all bond orders and connectivities because sometimes you know um, uh, when we add hydrogens then uh, we encounter sometimes we encounter errors so now we can save it as uh, again uh, as a pdb so browse docking ligand h dot pdb so here i have added hydrogen so i'm just uh, creating a separate file that is ligand hydrogen.pdb so now uh, we are uh, almost uh, uh, we have finished uh, the receptor preparation now we are almost close to the uh, uh, like uh, uh, ligand preparation so we are doing this ligand preparation so we have added hydrogens and now what we can do is uh, so this is the ligand section so here uh, you can read the ligand go to input open and 
delete the PDB file ligand h.pdb and you see that uh, a dialog appears and it is showing that all nonpolar hydrogen seven nonpolar hydrogens they have they will be merged or they have been merged and for 15 aromatic carbons have been formed and four rotatable bonds so torsional de degree of freedom will be set to four so you will see after uh, this you will see that this all um you have uh, this is the benzene ring and uh, all non-polar hydrogens have been merged so you can also check the rotatable num numbers choose uh, so set number of torsions so you see that there are four uh, rotatable bonds so they have been highlighted in green color so you have to just uh, keep it default so once uh, charges have been uh, added, so Gastigier charges uh, uh, generally uh, auto. So in this panel, you will see that when you will load uh, ligand, then with hydrogens, then uh, automatically the nonpolar hydrogens they will be merged and Gastigier charges will be assigned to ligand atoms, uh, and uh, degree torsional degree of freedom will be defined and also uh, after that you can change the torsion uh, the number of uh, rotatable bonds but i'm here considering the default so i have to save it as pdbqt so once uh, you have everything okay then uh, ligand uh, save it as ligand s dot pdbqt save so now we have uh, receptor ready, we have uh, ligand ready. So next step is to define the binding site. So we will go to the grid uh, macromolecule open docking and we have to open this PDBQ uh, receptor dot PDBQ. So it is asking that uh, it has already uh, per atom partial charges. Do you want to preserve this charge instead of adding Gastigier charges? So we want to preserve these charges. So click on yes. And then um, so you see that um, a dialogue, uh, a new dialogue appears and it is showing that all nonpolar hydrogens 1776 nonpolar hydrogens they have been merged and when you will click on ok then it will uh, let you save the receptor file as pdbqt so you have to save it ok so now your receptor.pdbqt file is uh, has been saved so better you delete everything and um, you again open the receptor.pdbqt so go to grid macromolecule open go to docking and receptor.pdbqt you have to again click on yes because you want to preserve charges but this time it will not uh, let you this uh, uh, this uh, receptor to save as uh, pdbqt because it it is already in pdbqt format so it's okay now uh, then you have to open the ligand. So uh, set, go to set map types, open ligand. So basically here you have to open the PDBQT uh, uh, ligand in PDBQT format. So open. So you see that uh, the ligand uh, here it, it is in uh, it is in green color so you see that so uh, the carbon atoms are in uh, are in green color and uh, oxygen oxygen is in red and hydrogens they are in um, white color so um, now we can we can uh, define the binding site because we are here we are performing self docking or redocking it means that ligand is already uh, Available uh, already, it's uh, uh, bound to the protein, and it's like 
it is present in the right binding pocket because I have taken the crystal structure. So crystal structure is an experimental structure. So it is considered um, like uh, it's a validated structure. So this ligand is actually experimentally it has been uh, it has been verified that this uh, inhibitor molecule occupies uh, the binding site on uh, available on 3cl pro so this is the binding site okay so what we can do here is uh, we don't we don't have to select residues because what we can do is like already ligand is uh, actually um, it's present it's uh, in the active site it's a binding site so what we can do is just we can click on grid box and we can go to center and center on ligand so basically what will do the grid um, actually this grid will move to the move and it will enclose the whole ligand and it will uh, just um, enclose all atoms of the ligands and the uh, so, uh, all surrounding residues which can interact with this uh, ligand so you can increase uh, this grid size so uh, basically it's a 40 40 40 in xyz direction these are uh, points and here you can just move up and down so um, basically i'm taking default so center on ligand so you see that if you will move this uh, like you can set these values and you can move the uh, grid box in X, Y, Z direction so that you can enclose all residues which which uh, can interact with this ligand. And you can also uh, increase the points in X, Y, Z direction uh, so that uh, like all the docked confirmations will be confined to this, uh, uh, will be confined in this grid only so you will not see that the doc goes will uh, you will not see any doc confirmation here or here because we are going to perform docking inside this grid so all the docking confirm doc confirmation will be available in this grid so and also like uh, atoms situated uh, outside this grid box they will not involve in interaction and and uh, in when you will uh, see the docking score or or the binding energy or docking energy then uh, you will see that only those atoms which are uh, which are enclosed in this grid uh, which are inside this grid they are uh, only the contributions from those residues will be will be considered so now we have to uh, like we have sent uh, like selected this option center on ligand because we want to redock the same ligand we uh, we are performing redocking or self docking so our binding site is well defined so what we can do is like we can uh, center this grid on ligand and then uh, we can uh, choose the default op default options so close saving current grid uh, and click on output so we have to save gpf so here in docking you have to create a file ligand dot dpf sorry oh, sorry it should be gpf It should be grid parameter file, so it's a ligand dot gpf. So um, the ligand dot gpf file is now uh, in uh, docking folder, and next file which we have, uh, which we need is do uh, docking parameter file that is dot dpf. So go to docking, click on macro molecule and you have to set the reset file name so here we are uh, we are going to consider receptor 
uh, in rigid rigid uh, conf, uh, like rigid form so we are not allowing a, uh, any atoms of receptor to to uh, move like uh, so all atoms of the receptors are fixed okay so um, but in autodoc tools you can also define uh, uh, <clears throat> you can also impart flexibility to uh, binding site residues so what you can do is like you can you can set uh, you can prepare a set of residues uh, which uh, you 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 are going to make flexible then here in autodoc tools uh, you will see the option okay so here docking uh, you have to set the receptor uh, uh, Reset file name. So set reset file name. So I have like selected the receptor dot pdbqt and set reset file name. And then in ligand, uh, you have to just choose because here it's already open. So ligand underscore h. Uh, it's select ligand. So you see that. You have to accept it uh, all parameters then docking search parameters genetic algorithm so here i'm going to produce uh, suppose 30 confirmation so accept uh, then go to docking docking parameters so you have to accept all defaults and then uh, other option no output yes so in output you have to select this Lamarckian GA 4.2. So genetic algorithm will be used to create confirmations of ligand. So desktop, docking, and then ligand.dpf. So you have like, by mistake, I created this file. So I am going to override this file. So you have to create ligand.dpf. Okay, so um, now we have, uh, ligand.dpf uh, we have ligand.dpf file in this so what we can do is like now we can start the docking so in order to perform molecular docking you have to copy those two executables which i showed you earlier so you have to go to um, c and then run files so script research institute to dock well you can also change the environmental variables uh, to set the path and you don't have to copy so you can directly run it from the command line but here uh, I'm not making it complicated so that's why uh, I'm just copying these two files do uh, these two executable files and then uh, go to CMD so you have to open this command prompt and you have to go to the desktop folder and then change directory docking doc and then um, you have to type auto so first you have to run auto grid for because uh, the uh, running uh, auto grid 4 will produce input files for autodoc4.exe so the command is auto grid 4.exe space dash p then uh, space you have to mention here the gpf uh, file gpf then a space dash log file that will be leakend dot glg okay So you will see that uh, this now this program is running and you will see many files map files they have been created so basically it's a hydrogen so it's a hydrogen bond donor it's the acceptor map so oxygen acceptor so i think aromatic so aromatic So these are uh, actually map files which are 
according to the atom types of ligand. Now, uh, you see that um, So you see that all uh, this, uh, it has finished. So auto grid 4.exe job has finished. Now we can, uh, what we can do is we can run auto doc 4.exe space p. So only you have to change this DPF, right? Instead of DPF, now it will be DPF space dash l ligand dot dlg. So now it, uh, this job is running, so it will take few minutes and meanwhile we can, uh, we will discuss uh, that how we can, uh, what we can expect and what, uh, how we can visualize the results. So this DLG file, uh, it will have all like details of all confirmations which will be produced. So you will see. So on Windows generally, um, it will take long time, but on Linux, it's very fast. So, um, okay. So we have to clean everything. Now delete all molecules, continue. So uh, after uh, talking, after completion of uh, docking, what we can do is we can analyze, go to analyze and click on dockings, open. So we have to open this DLG file. So here you can open this DLG file, but now you will see that only one docked confirmation has been generated. So it will show only one docked confirmation. And you can compare this docked confirmation with, uh, with the original ligand. So original confirmation. So this is ligand it's dot pdbqt so um, you can go to analyze confirmation play so you see that uh, the doc confirmation uh, like uh, it's not completely overlapping with with the original confirmation but it's almost similar so we can say that uh, actually the docking program is uh, is good at uh, reproducing the docked con uh, like the original uh, co-crystallized confirmation now we can like we can wait uh, and we can see that more confirmations uh, they uh, when we will have more confirmations, then we can select the confirmation which is showing list RMST with respect to the um, uh, to the original coke slice confirmation, and we can also analyze the binding energy, docking energy. Okay. So it runs, you see that. So if you will have more confirmation, then um, like you can go more confirmation and you can compare it so basically what you uh, you can uh, like you i will show you the complete dlg file so when docking uh, docking will uh, will uh, like will finish then what you will see is that dlg file will have all confirmations and here i'm showing you uh, docking of result of another 
ligand and that is for another uh, receptor ligand system and so you can see this uh, like when the docking will finish then you will be able to see uh, this list so this is ranking so this is different uh, so this uh, pose that is rank one and sub rank so this is showing the cluster like um, so this cluster has only one conformation and sub rank is also one and the run number is 14 and the binding energy is minus 7.40 kilocal per mole and this is the reference RMSD. so with respect to the input conformation now this dot conformation has a uh, root mean square deviation 1.53 in strong. So generally, um, if you get uh, RMSD less than one in strong, or even if you get 1.5 or less than two in strong, then it is considered good. But if you get RMSD above two, like three, four in strong, then it means like. Uh, the molecular docking program is not able to uh, uh, handle that ligand either you have done something wrong with the ligand preparation or receptor preparation maybe the binding site is not well defined or maybe sometimes what happens you have so many rotatables bond so when the ligand is very flexible then most of the docking programs actually they struggle to find the correct binding pose because generally uh, what user uh, think that okay we will generate we are going to generate only 10 confirmations and we will get a good binding pose no this is not the case so you should generate more confirmations like 100 200 because uh, autodoc tools has also this clustering option so generally if you will generate more confirmation then all those confirmation will be clustered together and they will be uh, like uh, you see there are in this in this case the ligand is very flexible so we have this large number of clusters here so we have uh, when i generated 50 confirmations i got 42 clusters so this is not correct uh, because uh, this is not good not like I will not say that this is not correct, but this is not good because mostly uh, you should get three, four clusters and one should be large, uh, largest cluster in which most of the confirmations um, will be available and you have to select the best uh, confirmation from that cluster and that, uh, also the confirmation from the top cluster uh, should, should show uh, the list RMST. So in this way, you can analyze the docking result and uh, let me check how many confirmations have been generated. So eight confirmations till now. So we will check like this, okay so docking open docking ligand dot dlg so seven confirmations uh, and i want to open the original confirmation go to analyze and confirmation click so you can go through one by one like uh, this is second this is third fourth fifth sixth seventh so seven uh, out of seven confirmation like only one confirmation is showing um, like uh, it's a showing good overlap so in this way uh, we can analyze all 30 confirmations and we can decide like which pose is aligning well which pose has uh, is showing uh, uh, 
list RMST with respect to the reference confirmation. So your reference confirmation will be uh, will be the input confirmation. Okay. So in this way you can uh, analyze. So suppose uh, you think that this confirmation is very close. So what you can do is uh, you can uh, just like uh, you can open the receptor. Uh, you can open the macromolecule. Docking receptor.pdbqt. And you can again go to this confirmation play. And you have to select the confirmation which is showing like a uh, good overlap list RMST and then you have to click on this and write complex okay so write complex so write complex will actually uh, give you so docked complex dot pdbqt so this complex will have docked confirmation which you have selected okay so let's see delete everything and we will try to open that continue delete molecule So this, this should have ligand. I think it should be uh, okay, it's throwing it. So what we can do if we see, uh, you know, the Python cell is giving error, then we can close uh, auto dock tool and we can again uh, reopen it okay so again click on auto dock tools icon So now uh, we see that so what we can do is file read molecule and then we can click that dot complex dot pdbqt and we see we have also ligand here so we can check it here. Yeah, so we have dot ligand here also. So so we see that now um, this three CL pro with, uh, is with dot confirmation. So be, better we save it as uh, PDB. So we can save it as PDB because PDB is popular format. So maybe our camera will be able to recognize the PDB format. So save it as PDB. Okay. And then we will try to open this complex in PDB and we will see that how this docked confirmation is with respect to the appears with respect to the original confirmation so file open
desktop docking dot complex okay so we see that receptor is not visible here why okay because i think only the selection has been saved so now uh, like uh, again we are going to save this uh, i'm going to save this as pdb so only actually that ligand has been selected that's why uh, the dot complex have this contribution okay okay all right so now we see that this is the 3cl pro with with dot confirmation so when we will open this uh, uh, original confirmation that is league and h dot pdb then we see that uh, like our dot confirmation which is uh, here which is in let me color it differently so, So ligand.pdb action color making it green by heteratom. So you see that this ring is aligning well and this ring is also some uh, somewhat it's aligning but this this ring is it is not aligning like these two fused rings they are not aligning well but still they are very close and you can see the uh, orientation of this OH group so it's not same so this can happen like uh, we can wait for other uh, uh, confirmations and when we will have all confirmations then we can see that which is the best confirmation so uh, basically you should generate 100 confirmation and if you see uh, like if you see RMSD uh, less than one storm, then you will be able to see a uh, very good overlap. And the thing is, uh, if you want to uh, visualize interactions, then what you can do is, you, uh, here I'm going to show the atomic overlap as well as contacts, as well as hydrogen bonds. So you have to select the three CL. So I'm going to delete the original one. So here, ligand H is original confirmation. So I'm going to delete this. So I'm going to see all uh, interactions of the hydrogen bonds made by this dot confirmation. So select residue three seal. Then go to tools, surface binding analysis, find H bond. And here you have to uh, click on only find H bonds with at least one in selected. So here we are going to only find H bond intermodal means like one is ligand and another is a receptor. So uh, write information to reply log, write information to find. So it is showing that zero hydrogen bonds have been formed. Like it's not possible there should be at least hydrogen one hydrogen bond so we can change the parameters so let me click on both so yeah so there is uh i see that there are hydrogen bonds so sometimes you know the ligand is a part of protein so uh, it, uh this complex uh so you have to sometimes play with this all uh, options. So either click uh, select both. So either you can also click this intermodal, intramodal or both. But uh, always don't forget to check this only find H bond with at least one in selected. And also when you will change this parameter like you will uh, change like zero points uh, 4 to 0 0.6 angstrom and you will relax the constant angle const 
trends by 40 degree then you will be able to find more hydrogen bonds so now five hydrogen bonds so basically uh, you see that there are five hydrogen bonds now and you can save this as H bond info and you will be able to see all informations so five hydrogen bonds you see that so 3WL is your ligand and aspergine 142 glycine 143 cysteine 145 glutamate and glutamate they are forming hydrogen bonds and these are the donor accepted distance and this is the donor hydro so hydrogen accepted distance okay one thing uh, you can also check is like uh, you can also do is to change the representation of hydrogen bonds by going to general controls and then clicking on pseudo bond panel and then click on hydrogen bonds click on attributes and then you can change the line style you can change the thickness so suppose you want this 2.0 angstrom and stick scale is 1.5 and you want to change the color of hydrogen bonds then you can make it black okay and let me change the background of So if you want to change the background of this chimera then you have to click on yeah so now I have changed this the background and now you can see this hydrogen bonds so this is basically um, this is also showing intra hydrogen bonds so we should correct it right mm -hmm. you see this is intra hydrogen bond mm -hmm. so you should mm -hmm. select the ligand and then So in zero hydrogen bonds so let me so here uh, don't include intra hydrogen uh, molecule H bonds so I think now it will be able to so only yeah so now it is only showing this all hydrogen bonds between uh, between 3CL pro and the inhibitor so you can again change the appearance of hydrogen bonds from pseudo bond panel going to hydrogen bonds and then um, like clicking 2.0 making it 2.0 then red color okay so So basically you can show the hydrogen bonds and you see there here is uh, some uh, I think it's like you can't show this wonder ball interaction you can't show salt breeze but yes you can guess that uh, like here you see this uh, uh, histidine and benzene ring they are very they are facing each other so there can be stacking interaction and basically hydrophobic residues they surround the hydrophobic group of the ligand so you see this is uh, this is actually incomplete chain I think this is this would be glutamine but this is incomplete but you see uh, this is aromatic ring tyrosine it's a polar but still you uh, you have aromatic ring here and you have methionine this is non-polar So, most, so non-polar part of the ligand will 
prefer to stay close to the nonpolar part of the protein. So uh, you you also see this this is cysteine. So this is polar. So it is making hydrogen bond. But this cysteine doesn't have hydrogen. I think. And uh, in order to uh, show the contacts, we again, uh, so one ha one should select this residue 3WL, so this ligand, and then go to um, find classes and contacts. And you have to designate. So once, uh, when you will select the ligand atoms, then you have to click on designate. So 23 atoms of ligand they have been selected and you have to check uh, against designating atoms against all other atoms and this is like uh, this is not default but you may change this so when you will so find atoms with wonder wall overlap so you see that this negative is showing that there should be overlap so apply so you will see some yeah and save it as like you see these all yellow solid lines and these are showing overlaps so these are showing wonder wall interactions so you can also change uh, this uh, from this pseudo bond panel pseudo bond group panel and you can change this as like suppose you want to show this uh, these all things as black or green okay and so this uh, all dashed lines in green color they are showing wonder wall contacts so you can change uh, uh, this parameter to change like when you will make it 000, 0, 0, 0, 0 then see so only two um, not more. so when you will make it positive like 0 0.5 angstrom then you will be not able to see any uh, overlap i think Fourteen contacts so you can save this overlap file and you can visualize that which atoms are overlapping so um, you should open this file open with notepad so you see that these are atomic overlaps between ligand and ligand uh, atoms of ligand and atoms of 3cl pro sars cov 2 3cl pro so these are actually um, distances so this is showing overlap and this is showing distance so this is uh, distance between two nuclei so generally it's better to select all residues within 3.5 angstrom of the ligand and to check which residues they are making because you can show hydrogen bonds you can uh, like uh, many software like uh, discovery studio and in master you will be able to see, see all those interactions like pi cation uh, interaction pi pi interaction you have contacts you have hydrogen bonds you have salt grease basically this ligand is not charged so you can't see uh, salt grease here so when the ligand is charged then you will be able to see the salt breeze with uh, uh, charge residues of the protein so in this way you can uh, like visualize all interactions and also you can save this uh, you can save this picture as like you can label it from uh, utilities 
2D labels. So if you want to label these all residues which are interacting. So um, let me close all these things. suppose you want to label all these residues then you can click on 2d label so suppose this one is uh, hysterine 41 so his 41 so you can make it bold also and you can increase or decrease the font size so let me make it 22 and this one is methionine 165 so m 165 So it's, not, uh, it's good to use one later code. This is Y54. This one is E166. And this one is S144. Yeah, so in this way you can label all these residues and make sure that numbering of the residues they should be correct because what happens with, uh, sometimes the P residue numbering in the PDB is not according to the Uniprot so it's, you have to check the numbering also and then you can save it as save image as like high quality you can change the DPI here um, 400 DPI or 600 DPI you can make high resolution uh, image ligand okay so you can save it as like this so you can see this yeah so this is high quality image you can see if you will zoom it so you can see this is a high quality image so you can use this image as a publication where you can you can like mention in material uh, in results and discussion that you have shown hydrogen bonds in dust black lines and uh, atomic contacts or uh, in yellow solid lines and these are the residues which are showing interaction with 3CL Pro uh, interaction with the, these are the residues of 3CL Pro SARS-CoV-2 3CL Pro which which are making uh, showing interactions with ligand with the inhibitor. So in this way, uh, you can perform redock uh, also perform docking of any ligand. So uh, only the uh, only uh, you have to like uh, when you will perform docking of any ligand then in that case you have to move the like you have to select the residues suppose you want to select these residues so suppose um, histidine 41 tarotin uh, 54 so you have to select these residues and So you see that these two residues they have been selected. So, so uh, you have to actually uh, move the uh, grid box in such a way that it will come, it will enclose the, these all um, selected residues. Or maybe you can click on pick on atom and like suppose you want to pick an atom then you can just uh, you can select it from suppose you want 144 
So you want to pick an atom of 144, so yeah, here. I think uh, in this way, should actually remove currently it, pick an atom. Actually, it should bring the box to the selected atom, but here I think you have to select it by mouse. By picking a, an atom. But this is not correct because just like you can move, you can move the grid in such a way that it will enclose. So think your grid box is here. So you can just translate it. Yeah, so in this way you have to uh, move this box, rectangle, uh, grid box. So you see that now uh, I'm trying to enclose all those selected residues. So you see that. those selected residues they they are now enclosed so you, you have to make confirm uh, like make sure uh, you have to make sure that uh, you have to confirm that all those atoms uh, of those selected residues should be uh, in in the grid you can also uh, increase decrease the grid size like yeah so in this way when uh, you are not performing self or redocking and like uh, you have uh, gener uh, generated your 3D confirmation of the ligand or maybe you have downloaded the 3D confirmation from other uh, like public database like PubChem or Campbell. Then what you can do is like you can prepare the receptor and ligand in same way but uh, when you define the grid you always you have to move uh, the grid uh, box in such a way that it will include enclose your uh, uh, the binding pocket okay and you can also predict the binding pocket using cast p and uh, you can enclose all residues of the predicted binding pocket within this grid and then click on close saving current okay and then you have to follow the same procedure like you have to save the gpf file and then you have to uh, create uh, you have to create the gpf file you have to create the tpf file then run uh, auto uh, grid for 4.exe run auto doc 4.exe then get that tlg file analyze tlg file choose the correct pose so when you are not performing self docking or redocking then you don't have to consider that reference rmst so uh, then you have to check that uh, that docking energy or uh, binding energy okay so you have to go uh, focus on that part so in negative term if you get uh, good energy like minus eight minus seven then in that case your dock like your ligand is making good interaction with the receptor so you can also get minus 12 minus 14 based on the like interactions okay so also I showed you that how to save the uh, complex. So when you select the particular confirmation, you want to save the complex, then you can uh, watch the entire video and then you can see. 
so thank you uh, for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel uh, okay